welcome back to a VR. Yes, finally got some uh, different content. I've seen this going around, so I thought I'd give it a go. It's quite an interesting subject. Um, Rudgy Retro Gamer uh, initially started it off. And apologies, I was convinced. I'm sure I was subscribed to him before, but then looking through my subscriptions after seeing people post, it's like wasn't there. And I've noticed as well some of my other subscribers that I was subscribed to have disappeared. So I don't know, I need to look at that and sort that out. Anyway, watch Daddy's, watch Two Is. So I thought I'd throw my hat into the YouTube ring of why I collect, what I collect, the good and the bad of collecting. So, let's discuss. Um, why, why I collect. I don't know. It's like Eddie said, it's a massive addiction and it is not just games for me. It's games that I show on the channel. That's what most people know me for and have seen on my my content with a few other bits here and there. Um but my other collections are as insane, uh, ridiculous. Um it's something within me it's a, a collecting bug if i get one of something and i know it's part of a series i need them all it's just yeah it's mental i've kind of always been that way since i was younger i was lucky enough to keep all of my stuff from my childhood all the toys that i had as a child i still have i have them all um so i'm very lucky in that aspect and yeah it's it's quite crazy so it's kind of a a hoarding thing as well but like Tootie said the difference between hoarding and collecting is a hoarder would probably just have mess everywhere and if you look to this room there is some mess everywhere but not to that standard of hoarding you know where you got stacks of newspapers and stuff you can't move would be more class as hoarding whereas a collection is on display it's organized it's sorted and for the most part they all are so yeah there's that um, so it's, you could say it was more of a collection, um, but yeah, what I what I collect. So obviously, games, big ones, and therein lies its own. Is it a collection? Is it not a collection? What do you collect? So clearly, at the moment, we're in front of the the 360 area of the room. This I collect for. I want to go for a full set. I'd love a full set. Um, so yeah, I'm collecting that. Obviously there were some games I'm not interested in, but the 360 for me is probably one of my favorite systems of all time. It's the one I spent the most time with. It really pushed me back into gaming. I like going for the achievements, which, you know, being a gamer as well, I do play or try and play all my games. So I will eventually get around to playing these for the achievements as well. It's that extra push to, to play. Um, but I enjoy collecting for the system. There's the artwork on them. I like the way the, the spines were different coloured instead of the uniform, say, like the PS2. Even though I do like that aesthetic of them all looking the same, I do like the colour of the Xbox. which something else which draws me to collecting for the Xbox consoles in general. Obviously, the OG Xbox is another set I would like a full set of. And they are the only two gaming sets that I want a full set of. The original Xbox on the 360. Not bothered about any other console and... I don't have space to have a full set of another console and yeah that I'm not interested in. I have other consoles, I have other collections of other consoles but they are just games that I want to play that then builds into a collection if you like. But yeah again with the 360 so multiple copies of some games so I like to have the steelbook of it, the normal version, sometimes the collector's editions and if it's got a collector's editions generally I have them and um, I love collecting collector's editions that's another part of collecting is having a collection within a collection as well and that rabbit hole just goes forever so things like uh on the ps2 the silent hill collection edition came with a sticker and i think there's six or eight of them in the set i want to get all of them stickers um on the original xbox the taito legends came with an art card again there's six or eight of them i think it's six i want to get all of them i'm, I'm missing one and on the 360, the Perfect Dark Collector Edition came with a little cardboard glyph. I think I'm missing one of them now, or I may have had them all. I can't remember, I need to check. Uh, but collecting all of them as well, so a collection within a collection. That for me is my collection, my collecting habits. Um, but yeah, again, 
all the stuff that I collect is not just games. Um, like I said before, I'm lucky enough to have all my old toys and stuff. So, uh, some examples: Ghostbusters toys. I was a massive fan of Ghostbusters in the day. Like I said, not only am I lucky enough to have kept them all, but I have almost a full set of all the original Kenner Ghostbusters toys. Anything that was in a box, I have it boxed. So all almost collector's edition, all in the boxes. The only thing I don't have the box for is the firehouse. I do have the firehouse built, but obviously back then my mum and dad would have chucked the box because it was too big to keep. Uh, but all the figures, I still have all the backing cards for them, stuff like that. So even at an early age, I was in that kind of collecting mind. I like to keep stuff. Uh, so the hoarding collecting kind of, it draws a fine line for me there. But like I say, I like them on display. Um, Starcom, I still have all my Starcom. They're all still boxed, all in great conditions. The Jurassic Park toys, I have a full set other than the vehicles. Uh, Supernaturals, if I can remember them, I have a complete full set of that. Just things like that, you know, that people haven't seen. That I have said I would like to bring to the channel, and I still plan to at some point, but filming that is completely different to filming gaming stuff, and it's harder to do, so I need to work on that. Uh, but yeah, trading cards. Um, I'm looking over here. Yeah, trading cards, sticker albums, key rings, literally anything. M money. So I used to collect, or I still do have a collection of 50p's with all different pictures on 50p's. I had all the original old pound coins with different pictures on. Just ridiculous amounts of stuff. And like I say, once I get something, I know there's others I like a full set. These little pop minis. Once I've got one, I want the full set of them. Of anything. But obviously stuff that I'm interested in. I wouldn't go for a full set of Dragon Ball or whatever pops. You know, something I'm not interested in. Um, it has to be something... I like so obviously the gaming stuff, the Ghostbusters stuff. Then I want a full set of it because I've got one. I need I need them all. Um, yeah, so I collect everything. My I remember Daz Co Jones ages ago used to say his hobby was hobbies. My collection is collections. I like collecting collections of stuff. It's just that simple, and it can literally be anything. And um, yeah, trying to trying to dis, but I like to try and display it. So yeah, it's not just hoarded low. A lot of it is boxed in the loft or wherever. I do want to get them out and have it on display where possible. Anything I can't, I am considering moving some stuff on, so it's not that much hoarding. If that makes sense. Yeah, it's it's one of them things. Um, and I just enjoy it. That's why I like collecting it. I like going out and find stuff, especially with the games. I like going wild hunting for games and picking them up that way rather than just buying them all off eBay or off a collective. I wanted a, a full set of one of the full sets I'm going for. It's quite easy for me just to go and buy it off someone. That's for me not fun. I like to I like to do it myself. Uh, as in many aspects of my life, I like to just have a focus on that thing and like to enjoy the journey which I've always said so yeah I'm not in a rush to get these there's plenty of time I don't need it yesterday I don't need it today um, I've got plenty to be getting on with so I like to embrace the journey I like to just go out and find stuff and have that nice surprise of wow I've gone into a store and I found something I need that's a far bigger buzz than just going I need that I'll just go buy it on eBay, CX online, whatever. It's that's not fun for me. Um, and as I said before, when you get to the last few which I'm on, that might be the way of completing the set. But for now, still enjoying it. Then the reason I started collecting. Well, obviously, I was collecting without knowing I was collecting, keeping things. And then when I really started to focus on collection, it was the OG Xbox set. Um, it's going to be a bit dark. I've not got it finished yet, lights aren't up. Um, but yeah, I remember, so I had all the games that I'd been buying to play as standard, just as a standard set. And I remember the, the moment that I thought, yeah, I'm gonna collect for that. And I happened to go into a CEX one day and I was just browsing normal games and stuff and I, I came across Xbox games and literally 10p, 25p, 75p, got a handful. I was like, I didn't realise I could still get these games 
and how cheap they were. Obviously, this is almost 10 years ago. So that started it. Picking up cheap games, games that I wanted to play as well, really cheap. And just building it up from then, obviously going to car boots, uh, places like your yeah, cash generators, other gaming stores, and just picking up. And they were so cheap then, just grabbing loads and then building a collection. And then finally it was like, you know what? Gonna go for a full set on that. I enjoy the system, I enjoy collecting for it. And that became a collection. But then you look at some of the other gaming stuff that I have as a whole as a collection, as a game collection, but it's not a set I collect for. So things like the PS4, much to I'm sure Eddie's dismay, not a system I collect for, it's a system I have. I buy games I want to play and play, but don't get rid of them. I like to keep them. I like, like I say, keep everything I have. So is it a collection? I'm not collecting for it. I have it as part of a whole collection. And I suppose that's something else we can discuss is what do you consider a collection? I don't consider these a collection. My PS1 there, three shelves below it as well. A couple of shelves of PS2. Don't collect for the system. I buy games for the system that I want to play or something else that uh, Stu mentioned on. It's getting stuff we either couldn't afford or get back in the day, uh, whether that is toys or gaming stuff and then having them such as games on the xbox that i never bought back in the day because i didn't have the money to buy them and just then forgot about them and missed them and then i was able now to get them um so there's that uh, but yeah that i consider a collection as well as the 360 these by themselves i don't really consider a collection but overall overall it is a gaming collection does that make sense? I don't know. Let me know. There's obviously other things like... I'm going to turn you around now. Uh, move my light so you can actually see these. So, magazines are another thing. I have a full set of Dreamcast magazines. Almost a full set of OG Xbox magazines. And I have many, many more magazines on this, on this shelf. Uh, some... Or well, most I did want to keep. I might thin these down, actually. Uh, we'll see. But, yeah, something else I kind of collect is magazines. And then just next to it as well, you can just about see, um, is books. So I collect all the Assassin's Creed novels. I have all the Halo novels up to date. They're all all down there as well. That's that's full, as well as some cleaning stuff. Um, but, yeah, it's not a room tour. Um, it's just, you know, things I collect, have, and it's not... A way of me showing off. I don't want to show off that I've got this stuff. It's just you can't talk about this stuff without seeing it or obviously talking about it and saying you have it. Another one of them weird things. Um, so yeah, that's how I got into. That's what I collect for. Obviously, big into my movies as well. Um, if you see my last video, you may have noticed that the background with all the films on that's downstairs. Um, always been a big movie collector. Uh, especially at the minute, my biggest thing is steel books. I love a steel book, Blu-ray, 4K. Um, but before then, when I was collecting DVDs, I collected all the Hong Kong Legends DVDs. I think I have them all. I'm not sure. I need it's something I've uh, moved on from and not really gone back into after moving to to Blu-rays. Uh, you don't really get them on Blu-ray anymore. The the Hong Kong Legends set. Uh, but I was collecting them and just because I'm a massive martial art fan, I love martial art films. So getting all them was great. I collect, obviously, all my my favourite martial artists, all the movies. So I've got all the Van Damme movies, all the Seagal movies, all the, obviously all the Bruce Lee, all the Jack Chan, all the Jet Li, all the Mark Tacascos, all that kind of stuff. Recently, Scott Adkins, you know, I like to collect their filmography of stuff as well. So another collection I collect for is, yeah, films and Filming memorabilia as well, I've actually got quite a lot of stuff. You can probably see some of these these boxes here as well. Let's move it around a little bit so you can get an idea. But, let's try and get some light. So, there are seven, where's my, seven boxes here. They're all pop figures, all pops. Seven massive boxes full of pops. And again, it's going back to one of the things is, once I've got one of a set, I want to collect them all, I want that whole set, so I've got the whole um, Big Trouble in Little China set, because I picked one up, the whole Karate Kid set, the whole 
not the whole Halo set, but the whole Fallout set, things like that. And a lot of them I do want to keep, but there's some of them, you get a whole set and then they bring up more and it's just more and more in space and stuff. And while they're in boxes like this, I don't see the point. That then to me becomes hoarding. You're not making the most of your collection. You're not enjoying it. You're not seeing it. You just, just have it there out of the way in the loft, whatever. Um, that's how I look at it. So I want to thin the set so I can get them out. Um, I do want to enjoy my collection. And this is something Roger mentioned in his video as well, is enjoying what you have. Uh, before I came into this game room, I used to obviously have a chair and game in my old game room. And I used to sometimes just sit in the chair and just look around the room and take it all in, enjoying what I had. I haven't done that so much in this room yet, mainly because it's not finished. But I do now and then still like to just come in, have a walk around, have a little look, remind myself of what I have and enjoy it, enjoy it. And that's what I wanted this room to be is more of a display of things so I can see what I've got and enjoy them. Look at the artwork, look at the, the collector's editions and the figurines and stuff that's in there. And I'm going to move the camera again and show you something else that I had planned while we're discussing this. Like I say, don't want it to be a room toy thing, but just an idea of where my collection wants to go. So the idea originally was to have this massive Kallax, which is a 4x4, and I wanted to get all my figurines, or the bigger figurines and the ones I like the most, out of these collection boxes and into these squares, have them all on display. Obviously, in building this room, I had so much stuff and the room's slightly smaller than the one I came from, so it was condensing things and it's just got filled with things. So the other reason I mention this is because this is something I want to work on on my week off and I've got another week off in September and we can maybe look at the progress coming up and maybe I'll get a room tour coming out, we'll see. But anyway, collecting. So as you can see, like things like this, binders, full of trading cards, trading card games, all that kind of stuff. There's other collections there as well I want to sort out and get sorted. But yeah, these, these big collector's editions are the biggest thing and like going back to the space issue is enjoy collecting them, wanting them, but then storing them, displaying them, wanting them out. I wanted to get the, the figures out of these, but then it's what to do with these boxes. Again, putting them in the loft, but then you're not making the most of them because some of the boxes, again, have that nice artwork on to have on have on display. But yeah, that, that was the plan for that, to get some more things on display. Um... So yeah, um, good and bad things about collecting. Obviously, there, there's going to be many, and in anything that you collect or do, there's always going to be good and bad. And the biggest thing with this, and something Eddie touched on, is the community. And it's the same community um, you'll get with anything. So you get the really good part of the community, people helping each other out with either information or finding certain items that you might might want to add to your collection and either selling you them, passing them on, finding your avenues to go down to, to get them, or if you're going for a full set, actually finding out how many you need for that set and things like that. Uh, so that part of the community, absolutely fantastic. That's part of the community I try and obviously stick with, which most people stick with. But then something obviously that Roger mentioned is you get the, the bad side of the community, people trying to sell you fakes, trying to outdo each other and that kind of stuff so there's always going to be that i get it in all kind of things that i do like again touching on my martial arts you get the, the great schools and things like that where people want to learn and teach you things but then you always get them kind of mcdojos as we call them where people are just trying to do you over teach you the wrong things just to make a quick buck or quick pound as it should be or whatever you say um so you're always going to have that always going to have that in everything you do um, for me, some of the best things, obviously finding them things that you've always wanted and not being able to have. Getting them, putting them on display and enjoying your collection, obviously that's the best thing. It's why you do it. You collect because, not only because you want that thing, but you want to enjoy that thing and see it on display. Come into a room and just be in awe of what you've accomplished, I suppose. Um, all the negative things, I don't, I don't really know. Um, yeah, space, getting too much 
for what you have and this is what I want this room to be now this is my my dedicated room I don't want to change it I don't want to expand it so I need to now see what I've got fill it to its best um, that I can do with the room and you know get stuff out anything that then doesn't fit I've then got to consider do I now want to move this on do I really want to keep it if I've no interest in it let's, let's start moving stuff on and that's where I'm kind of at at the minute with my collection and collecting uh, I've got so many boxes in the loft I need to start out with with other collections as well and in the garage and all that kind of stuff so yeah space obviously always going to be an issue uh, this is now my third kind of game room they've all been various sizes I could have had a bigger game room I said this when I was moving downstairs I could have had the bigger room but then it, it just gets silly you you get in it bigger and then all you do is fill it with more stuff that maybe you don't want don't need um, so I've kind of limited myself now with this this is it this is how I want it uh, some of the, the game collection collections that I have um, they're at capacity now on the shelves I've put them with and there's some games there I'm probably not too fussed about so it'll be a, a one in one out kind of thing I want to try to condense some of them I keep saying collections collections that I have that you know you're going to car boots just buy stuff because they were cheap because of their it, it, you get that thing of oh I just want as many as I can get I want everything but then it's a case of if you want it to be a collection you need to be a collection that you want yeah um, I'm looking around just for inspiration so yeah that that's the, the line I guess between hoarding the collection buying it just for the sake of it and maybe not really wanting it or enjoying it so yeah that's where we are and we'll see you again in September hopefully uh, where we are at with the current collection so I hope this has made some kind of sense and put that on to you guys I'd like to see everybody else's thoughts and opinions on the situation I will uh, obviously be checking out all the videos as well I've only seen the two so far uh, but like I say I've had an issue with my account and people I've subscribed to so I need to uh, to sort that out obviously I've not really looked at it properly I've just been watching YouTube on on TV and just don't really focus on the, all the background stuff and I never really have um, but yeah so take care guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you soon bye for now